Welcome back to Shems. Today we are building a pony wall and a subfloor. Today we are building subfloor. Since we have the downgrade lot, you can see the footing stepping down. We have to level it with the wood framing and then install the TGI or BCI joist according to the plans. We don't invent the wheel, we use plans. Plans engineered by professional engineer. Every stage of work, every scope of work is here. So in this particular case, we're using foundation page, which we can see all these details for the footings and uh, wood foundation. So we are framers. So the name of the company is TriWest Homes. We've been doing framing since 2001. The first task is uh, to snap the perimeter of the house. Uh, we are doing two by six walls because the uh, California code is two by six exterior walls for proper insulation. So what the guys are doing right now, they uh, checking the footings and uh, doing layout. So you can see we already snapped the lines. So we, after we squared off the building, check the concrete guy. So we're making sure that this line is five and a half inches according to the dimension of the wood we are going to install. The line is perfectly straight from uh, the corner to corner. So we are using lasers, levels to check the dimensions and uh, install it properly. The way laser works, uh, you can see the guy over there with the beeper checking the level of the foundation and we have the consistent signal, it means it's perfect level. The next step, we are going to start installing pressure treated wood. We clean off the bolts from any excess cement and use a metal pipe to level them out. Holes for the bolts are marked out and drilled for installation. The lumber used for the base part of the pony wall needs to be a pressure treated 2x6. And in construction vocabulary, the base part of the wall is called the bottom plate. The pressure treated plate is the first thing that goes directly onto the cement footing. Now this particular plate is called a mud sill. It's different from a regular wall plate because it's exposed to the masonry foundation, which can absorb and transfer moisture. Washers and bolts are added and then we tighten the mud sill with a power tool. Then the pony wall is built up from there. So what is a pony wall? It's a short wall built for the purpose of bringing up the leveled height of the finished floor. The 
wall is 6 inches wide all around. The pony wall consists of two top plates and a bottom plate with studs in between at regular intervals. Once our pony wall is built up to code and ready, we begin the construction of the subfloor on top of our pony wall. Internal support for the subfloor is provided by 4x6 beams called girders, which are set on 4x4 posts attached to the pier blocks. We start building the rim of the joists around the outer perimeter of the pony wall top plates. Top plates are also known as crown plates. Then joists are placed in between the rims with added spacing blocks. Joists are nailed to the rim and to the crown plate. We sheathe the top of the joist with plywood and then we're done with the subfloor. Thank you for watching Shams.